Hi, Jamie here from The Hedge Teacher. Let's take a very basic look at blockchains and blockchain technology, and especially blockchains in cryptocurrency. So, what is a blockchain? A blockchain is a digitalized, decentralized public ledger of all cryptocurrency transactions. It is a unique form of distributed ledger technology or DLT, which provides the management of digital currency without the need for a single central administrator. Instead, every event on the blockchain is managed and approved by the people using it. They're called miners, and this in effect is a public ledger. The transactions are then accepted onto the ledger in blocks, hence the name blockchain. The ideology behind the technology is to create friction-free financial transactions that can be used online anywhere in the world without the need for government or intermediaries regulations. In transactions carried out by banks, this level of information is only available to the two banks involved. Every block contains the hash of the previous block. A hash value, or simply hash, also called a message digest, is a number generated from a long string of text. This has the effect of creating the chain of blocks from the genesis block to the current block. Each new block will come after the previous block chronologically because the previous block's hash would otherwise be unknown. Each of these blocks is computationally impractical to modify once it has been in the chain for a while because every block after it would also have to be regenerated. This is what makes cryptocurrencies irreversible and more secure. For any block on the chain, there is only one path to the genesis block. However, there can be forks. Usually this happens when two blocks are created just a few seconds apart. When that happens, generating nodes build onto whichever one of the blocks they received first. This goes onto the longer chain and any others that are in the shorter chain are re-added to the pool or queue. And these queue transactions will be included in another block. Nodes are computers in the network of a cryptocurrency which receive new transactions and blocks. They validate these transactions and blocks, format them, and ensure no double spending. They spread these valid transactions and blocks to connected nodes and ignore invalid transactions and blocks. As long as these nodes are visible to the network, you can count them. The number of nodes correlates to the security and liveliness of the network. There are cryptos with under 50 nodes running worldwide. I would suggest not to buy these cryptos because they might simply disappear. So blockchain is a peer-to-peer -peer network with a distributed database. Each node has a copy of this database and consensus protocols keep this in sync. All transactions are pseudonymous, meaning that they are not linked to your identity in the real world at the moment. You can use a number of identities and addresses for your security. At the moment, the technology is primarily used to verify transactions within cryptocurrencies. Although now, it is possible to digitalize code and insert practically any document onto the blockchain. By doing this, it creates a permanent record that cannot be changed. It is then authenticated and verified by the entire community using the blockchain instead of a single centralized authority. This is why the technology is attracting not only financial institutions and stock exchanges, but many other fields like music, insurance, property transactions, gold and silver, and IoT devices, the Internet of Things devices. This can also be used for voting systems, vehicle registrations, medical records, and even confirm ownership of artwork and antiques. This potential for distributed ledger technology, DLT, to simplify the current business operations has already developed 
new models and is replacing the expensive and inefficient accounting and payment networks of the financial industry. A recent Goldman Sachs report suggests that it could save the stock market operators up to $6 billion a year. Widespread adaptation of DLT or the distributed ledger technology will bring huge cost savings and minimize processing delays which means less capital being held against risks of pending transactions. An electronic ledger or ledgers are much cheaper to maintain than traditional accounting systems. Thus, the number of people in the back offices can be greatly reduced. And a nearly fully automated DLT system will have fewer errors with the elimination of repetitive confirmation steps. This incredible opportunity offers the ability to create businesses and operations that are both flexible and secure. These services are on the rise and with the technology maturing and advancing at an incredible pace. I believe cryptocurrencies will gain legitimacy for business transactions and will become the preferred tool for these transactions. People all over the world are buying cryptocurrencies to protect themselves against devaluation of their national currencies, of their fiat currencies. And more and more companies are discovering the power of smart contracts as this is the first real world application emerging from the blockchain technology. Institutional investors are buying cryptocurrencies. The banks and governments realize that this invention has the potential to take their control away and they don't like it. Now, there's a lot more to learn about blockchains and this technology. You can either stand by and observe or you can become part of history in the making. Your choice. Please, don't keep this a secret. Like, subscribe and share this with your friends and family. You know, we have to hedge our own future. If we don't look after ourselves, no one else will. Until next time, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher.